Hello and welcome to 2021. What better way to start the new year with some epic Lean Girl lunch recipes that are all under 450 calories. So I'm sure you girls are gonna love these and they're super delicious. And as I said, they literally take under five minutes to make. So we are crushing that new year excuse that you don't have time to cook healthy, to make good food. These are going to take all the guesswork out of it for you guys. Now, before we get into the recipe, please, I've got to ask you, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, so you don't miss out on any of the good stuff that is coming your way in 2021. And um, that is recipes, lean body hacks, workouts, crazy thing, just all good stuff that's coming your way okay so hit the subscribe button and of course if you enjoy the video hit like at the end as well and before i even get into these recipes you know that they can be found inside my ultimate lean girl recipe hub which is called the kitchen coach every single recipe you ever see online you don't have to go ahead and save it on instagram to never go back to it again you can just always head into your lean girl kitchen coach Help you, it will help you plan your meals, it will give you endless ideas for low calorie meal ideas for breakfast, lunches, dinners, sweets, and there's just so much good stuff in there. So if you haven't checked it out, link below to do that. And so let's get into our first recipe that I promise you is so quick and so easy and so delicious. And it's got a few little options as well, depending on what your preferences are. So this is really what I call a tuna stack. So you can use any kind of cracker that you want. You can use a cracker, you could even use rye bread, or you could use sandwich thins, which you guys see me posting on Instagram about all the time, which I also really love. So I'm gonna be using rye beaters today, which I kind of like because they've got a bit of substance to them versus like a cracker bread, which I find sometimes just tastes like air. Or another favorite of mine are these cheese flavored corn thins, which are really yummy as well and about the same calories. So I'm actually gonna be doing four of these um, rye vita cracker breads today and we are gonna be doing a lovely high protein tuna mix on it. So I've got myself here just one tin of tuna, which I've poured out the water. Always guys, get it in water or brine. If you're getting it in oil, you're adding just a load of unnecessary calories. So totally not needed. I like to get the really super shredded one as I find it, it's not as dry as normal tuna in is, but don't worry. We're gonna be adding a whole lot of goodies to it as well. Okay, and then to really get this, oh no, not this. To really get this nice and creamy, I'm gonna be adding some mayo. You can't have tuna without mayo. This is my favorite of all time, which is trim, which is a really nice low calorie one. Um, I think it's about 30 calories for 20 grams, which is around a tablespoon. I normally will weigh it out, but I'm just gonna be eyeballing my, eyeballing it here. And then you can just give this a little mix to make sure it's all beautifully covered. And then of course, very important to season. Season all your food really well. One of my favorite spices, which I'm pretty using, much using in every single recipe here, is my Funky Oma Spice. Um, this is the Himalayan and black garlic salt. Guys, if you don't spice your food, it's not gonna taste good. It's just the way that it is. Adding a little bit of spice, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of salt, pepper. Changes the game. Okay, so now we're gonna grab our little rye beaters. And as the base, I'm gonna use some fat-free cottage cheese. This is just the one from Pick and Pay. And low, low, Fat-free cottage cheese and low-fat to me taste very similar, so I don't mind either. And very nice and low-calorie and high-protein too. So I'm going to start off the bottom with our low-fat, uh, fat-free cottage cheese. And another little thing that I love to do, um, which I could have done now, is to actually just mix a little bit of garlic powder with. You think I'm nuts on the garlic, but. Genuinely mix a little bit of garlic powder into your cottage cheese and then a bit of salt and pepper as well And it becomes the most delicious dip you will ever have in your life Like if you're using it at say you're having a snack party and you want to do like a carrot dip or whatever mm. Girl, it's so good Okay so we're starting off with our cottage cheese on the bottom and by the way I'll put the calories up after I'm done each one of these then I have got myself some tomatoes, cucumber, and some spring onions. 
as well. So I'm now going to just do a few layers of veggies. Adding the veggies onto your crackers also helps to obviously add good vitamins and fiber and all that stuff. But it also just makes your dish more hearty. So if you just had a cracker with cheese on it, for example, it's not going to be very filling because it's quite small. Um, and then I'm going to add, I might just actually just cut these babies in half. My little tomatoes. Because that was quite a big one. Okay, now I want you to give it another crack of seasoning. So salt and pepper, if that's what you're using. I like to season at each step, as you can see. Um, and I'm leaving my spring onion here because I'm actually going to sprinkle that on the top. So now what I want to do is I actually want to take a bit of our tuna and pop that onto the top of each one. Guys, how simple. Okay, so now that we've got our tuna down, we're also going to add some avo. So I've got 40 grams of avo here and I'm just going to cut this into four little pieces which I'm going to then pop on top it's all about the presentation folks and then last but not least I'm going to sprinkle on a few of our spring onions you can also mix the spring onions into your um, little tuna mixture if you like and that also just adds even more beautiful green and I love a spring onion as, a, as opposed to just like a completely raw onion and kabam there is your big plate of tuna stacks which are high in protein they are super filling and as you can see like it's a pretty big dish um, and oh before I forget I love a little crack of seasoning as well just to make sure that our avo has a bit of spice to bring it all together and there you go for plate number one down are you ready for number two okay let's go okay my girls on to lunch recipe number two under 450 calories and this is going to be a chicken couscous and pumpkin bowl you guys know i am pumpkin obsessed and this is a bit more of like a hearty one if you're feeling like something that has a little bit of warmth and a little bit of you know when you put anything in a bowl it just feels cozy right it's like so cozy. Okay, this one is also again very easy and there's a few alterations that you can make depending on what you have at home. So the first thing I'm going to start off my little bowl with is some rocket. Um, I really love rocket. You could even do baby spinach leaves if you like, but I just like to add a bit of greenery into my bowl. Um, and of course, who doesn't who doesn't need a little bit of lettuce, a little bit of salad in their um, in their thing, in their bowl. What am I talking about? I'm getting so excited, I'm just losing my words. Then I am going to be using some couscous. I love couscous because firstly, it is so quick and easy to make. It honestly takes five minutes. If you've never made couscous, you don't even have to put it on the stove. In fact, literally none of these dishes you even need a pot or a pan for. Um, you literally pour boiling water, you cover it with a plate or, or something, and it basically cooks in about five minutes. Spice it up, and that's Bob is your uncle. So I'm going to be using um, this couscous, which I have already now cooked. Even Woolies, if you really don't have time, like it has the pre-cooked ones as well. So this is going to be the carb in our bowl. So I'm just going to be adding a bit of this. And our rocket kind of acts, acts like a little bed for everything that we're going to be adding on here. And couscous is really not bad in calories as well. I'll put the calories up. Um, on the screen you could also do a delicious quinoa which i also really love and then what i've also done is i have already already done some pumpkin so the way that i do my pumpkin is i'll steam it first sometimes i'll just cut the corner off the bag um, and do the whole 500 grams it normally comes in a bag um raw at for woolies or pick and pay put it in the microwave for around eight minutes and then i spice it up like hell put it in the air fryer for around 10 minutes and then i get this delicious caramelized mm, wonderful um, pumpkin that is basically one of the lowest calorie vegetables on the planet and I mean it's crazy seeing it's like so freaking delicious so I'm adding my pumpkin it takes all my willpower not to just take piece, just bite a little piece. 
And then we're of course gonna be adding some chicken. I actually made chicken last night. So a great idea is to cook, if you're cooking chicken, if you're making chicken breast, make a few extra because you can always add them to other dishes. Make a chicken wrap, make a chicken mayo sandwich, um, make a quinoa, I mean a couscous chicken bowl. So I've got some chicken here that I already made last night. Otherwise, if you don't have chicken and you just want something to grab on the go, I really do like these um, little roasted chicken packs from Woolworths. And this is already cooked, spiced, it's yummy. Um, and this whole thing is about 140 grams and just under 200 calories. So also a really nice option, but I'm going to be using the chicken that I have already cooked. Okay, and then last but not least, I'm gonna be adding a bit of fat-free feta. The combo of pumpkin, chicken, couscous, and feta, it basically is gonna blow your mind. So I've got here a bit of fat-free feta. Let me just move up our pumpkins, really taking up all the room there. And so I'm gonna add in some beautiful pieces of fat-free feta. And that is pretty much our beautiful little couscous chicken pumpkin bowl. And how quick is that? Five minutos. And if you do your chicken and your pumpkin the night before, because that's maybe what you were having for dinner, this bowl is so, so, so easy to do. And then, oh, I actually forgot this little sauce that I wanted to show you guys as well. Give me a second. So these are two really yummy. You can use these, they're yummy sauces. It's actually a balsamic reduction. So you can get them from Diskem. Um, they're by Carb Smart. And this one is my favorite, the garlic, chili, and ginger. And it's just really nice to do a little, has this been opened? To do a little spray over your whole meal. And you can also use these on salads or veggies or anything. Meal number two, voila, done. Number three, something sweet. Let me clean up and then last one to go. Okay, so our last lunch idea is actually going to be something a little bit sweet. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes I'm like, screw the savory, I actually feel like just something deliciously sweet. And so this is also another favorite of mine, super simple. You can basically take all your things to the office and even make it there if you are back at the office. So I've got myself here two smaller pieces of rye bread. And we are gonna do, do a delicious peanut butter and banana sandwich with a yummy milkshake, protein shake on the side. So I've just lightly toasted my two pieces of rye. This is not the normal big Woolies rye. It's actually slightly smaller ones that I got at um, Spa, but you can use any bread that you like. I really like rye because it just has quite a hearty flavor. So, but totally up to you. You could also use the sandwich thins if you prefer, or you could use the little rice cake if that's something that you enjoy. So I've toasted my little um, sandwiches here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab about 15 grams of peanut butter. So a nice way to measure peanut butter is actually to put your peanut butter on the scale um, between Yum Yum and Black Cat. These are like my two favorites. And guys, you'll be shocked as to how much peanut butter is actually 15 grams. It's not a lot. Um, people are like, have a tablespoon. It's more like five tablespoons when you actually measure it. Okay. Then, here's a little trick to make your peanut butter go further. I actually add the smallest bit of Greek yogurt and then I mix it up. So I add about another teaspoon of Greek yogurt and then it makes it also delicious and creamy. And then I mix it up until it's smooth and it goes a lot further and it actually tastes really good too. So it almost becomes like a peanut butter whip. It's almost lunchtime, that's why I'm getting so excited about the food. I actually am not sure what I'm not gonna eat because there's just too many good options. I'm like, do I feel like something sweet? Something I don't know. Actually, this is still feeling quite thick. I'm gonna add another teaspoon just to get it a little bit. peanut butters are more runny um, which I actually prefer but the flavor of the black cat for me which is really yum 
Okay, there we go. So that's kind of the texture that you want. You want like a whipped peanut butter. And so we're gonna put these on our little sun sandwiches. On each one. Don't let any go to waste. Precious calories. 100 calories for 15 grams. You're not gonna leave any. Let me grab mine. Okay, so spread on your PB. And as you'll see, it does go quite a lot further if you add your little yogurt. There's something about a peanut butter sandwich. Like, I don't know if it's just from my childhood or what, but oh, girl loves the PB sandwich. That's it. Okay, then we're gonna add a little bit of banana. I don't have all my utensils with me today. I'm prepared. I'm gonna use about half a banana. I'm gonna use about 50 grams. So if you are trying to count calories, like, yeah, it's a hack, but you can just, you know, drop your banana on the scale and actually see, cause like there's some bananas that are like gigantic and then others that are tiny. So one banana, all bananas are not equal. So you do kind of need to weigh them. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna do some little slices and pop them on. This banana's actually going a little brown. here pretty plate and then we're gonna add some final touches to our little peanut butter banana breads so if you are as cinnamon obsessed as I am as I am you can add a little bit of cinnamon but I'm also gonna go in with some of my wet maple walnut sugar-free syrup from Walden's farm this just adds an extra bit of sweetness. You could do honey if you have, but obviously the calories are a bit higher, but you really just need a beautiful little drizzle. And then let me do a little honorary sprinkle of cinnamon. Heavy handed. Making a rattle mess. And there is your wonderful little peanut butter banana sandwiches. And I have already whipped up my Metalab protein shake. Um, let me grab a bottle to show you guys. So this is my most delicious. It's the caramel flavor. They are so thick and so creamy. Honestly tastes pretty much like a milkshake. Um, the way that I make it is literally just with ice and water. And if you like, you can add in some Zanum gum, which is what makes it really thick and fluffy, but it is already thick and fluffy all on its own. And then to, so obviously, by the way, the reason why I did the protein shake with the sandwich is because this isn't very high protein. And you guys know that I love to add protein into every single meal. It'll keep you fuller for much longer. It will help you reach all of those lean body goals, help you build that lean, sexy muscle in the gym. Protein is NB. Please do not have a meal without your protein, girls. Okay, and then to top off my little shake, just to make something fun, I'll add on a few fun little sprinkles. And then I'm gonna drink this with a big ass straw. And there you go for lunch idea number three that takes five minutes to whip up. Um, and that is the sweet version. So let me show you all of our, let me show you what you're gonna be eating for lunch. Basically, we've got our little tuna stacks happening over here. We've got our little couscous chicken pumpkin bowl. And then we've got our little sweet banana peanut butter sandwich with your little milkshake. There you are my girls. Three quick and easy lunch ideas that are under 450 calories. I really hope that this is gonna inspire you in the kitchen this year to make delicious, healthy food that is also going to get you to your lean body goals. So if you like the video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below. I love reading all of them. 
Um, and other than that, I cannot wait to bring you more lean body hacks, more lean goal recipes in the year to come. If you haven't yet done it, check out the Lean Goal Kitchen Coach where you'll find all of the re these recipes. Plus, I think it's like 250 now. So there's a lot of recipes for you to get through. So otherwise, that's it for me and love to you all. And I cannot wait for a healthy, happy, lean 2021 together. And the way that I make it, My muscles are not working. Ah.